Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. We've got a mission that we're going to be doing today. We need to follow up on Fortunate Son, see how Bob is doing after he got his kidney transplant. Um, the message that we got did not give a lot of information, which uh, leads me to believe that maybe something bad happened. Um, we told them about the virus, at least we knew about the virus, but maybe there's further complications going on too. Okay, somewhere up here is going to be a transport thing. Is it further down? Must be. Yeah, right here. Yeah, their camp is kind of a pain to get to now. I should see if there's a straight line that we can take, or if it's blocked by some kind of cliff or mountain or something. Because taking the roads makes you kind of go a really long roundabout way. <coughs> hey V, hope everything's alright with you. Thanks for dropping by, I had a really good time. Thanks for inviting me, I had a nice time too. Your family's awesome. Well, my family thinks I've got an awesome friend. Thanks for everything, V. You should come over again soon. <laughs> Thanks, River. Take care. Hang in there, V. Now, he doesn't know a better situation. We've told Pan Am, but uh, River doesn't know, does he? I'm trying to remember. Did we talk to him about it? Maybe we did. And Joss. It's okay, I get it. I appreciate your honesty, and thanks again for stopping by. The kids say hi, meaning they're hoping you'll drag your butt back over here for a rematch. How's Jake doing? He's easing into it, slowly. Needs a day or two to get up on his feet. Glad to hear that. You have my thanks, V. On behalf of myself and the entire family. Okay. All right. I thought I thought things were gonna be uh Sometimes bad. I think about staying here a while longer. But then a city dweller happens upon us and I reconsider. You do know I'm a city dweller, right, buddy? We're not all so bad, huh? I like those short shorts, girl. <laughs> See? Hello? Hi. My V must be short. Like, look where my head comes on the, in this person. You're just really tall, I guess. Alright. Aldecaldos, good people. Real good people. Okay. I'm kind of... thinking that maybe we'll go down this track next. Um, so this, apparently, River stuff kind of branched off, right? We started with River helping him investigate this thing, and then we sort of went different ways on that. I think he kind of dropped that case. Who knows, maybe he'll show up on this again, I don't know, but, um, this is about the mayor's murder, so this is the other guy that's running for mayor, he's looking for dirt on his running mate, it's, uh, it's messy. It's real messy. I'm no but uh, let's continue that That's that right. uh, quest a... there. That story. I should check my inventory. I might need to sell again. 283 out of 336? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty high. <laughs> Some more shiny pants. 
You know what? You're pulling it off. Sort of. I still hate the hat. We close to a place to sell? Eh, yeah, we'll do it later then. Now what is this icon? Thievery. Client wants you to steal something. Later. Later. I just wanted to update you on Randy. He's slowly easing back into things. It's hard to believe, but it looks like everything's going to be alright. You can't imagine how grateful I am. I'm sending you a still of Randy. I hope it won't be long before he can thank you in person. Thanks. Oh yeah, their penthouse is super nice. Is it still going to be playing Claire de Lune on the on the uh, auto piano? It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office, meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're well, talking about the cornerstone of my what, platform. Exactly. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Court. No, yep. I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Still Claire de Lune. Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me, of all people? Wouldn't rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Generally wise, I guess. Mayor Ryan's death. You couldn't quite figure that one out. But I like how you work. I know I can trust you to be thorough. Notify the badges yet? We didn't tell him the full story. We don't story. any buzz around this. No About attention Ryan. whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. SSI's pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arsaka or Militech? Didn't want ties to him? It's what was recommended to us. Why? On the bright side, we're not Ooh. dependent on any mega corporations. Yeah, that that's kind of what I thought it would be about. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? I couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea who you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. Intruder, take anything? Break anything. Nothing missing. 
I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think maybe you should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Ooh, are they gonna let me back in the back area? The Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. We shouldn't delay too long. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. Oh my god, could you imagine having an apartment like this? I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Seems like it'd be impossible in this world. In fact, I'm starting to like this guy better just for the fact that Jeff's he's office. trying to do it that Control way. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Okay. Type bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Avian Extermination Act. The AEA was adopted by the Night City Council on May 4th, 2063. Purpose in the face of increasingly frequent and deadly zoonotic disease outbreaks, the city council has decided that the most effective method for reducing the risk of infection among residents is via the extermination of all avian life within 18 miles of city limits? Holy, holy shit! The extermination process will begin on May 7th, 2063, once the call and selection of tenders for the contract have been completed. Now this is an interesting world because most of the country is like dead and barren, right? And we know that like the rain and weather can like be poisonous basically. So I wonder if, yeah, like I bet you that birds would be a huge disease and sickness carrying thing in this world. Interesting. So they just get rid of them. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Peral is for mail, May, mayor commercial. New campaign ad. 
I hate this commercial, I really do. A gun? Shooting a snack of legislation? It doesn't get cruder than this. What happened to running a campaign based on dignity? On giving my voters the respect they deserve? Maybe this guy's alright, huh? Jeff, with all due respect to you and your voters, these commercials are wedged between Watts and Whore and Guns and Horses. Your commercials need to communicate with voters in a language they understand. Ugh. Wallace, Chief of Security. Mercenary? Question mark? Mr. Perales, your wife has informed my employees that you intend to hire a mercenary in regard to the dubious circumstances surrounding Mayor Ryan's untimely death. I understand your concern, but I can assure you it is best to leave the matter to the police. Should you have reservations as to the police inst police's integrity, then please consider allowing my people to look into it. On behalf of my team, I can assure total and complete discretion. I need you to toss a glance at some of the key aspects of uh, the program, in particular my suggestions concerning their anti-corporate stance. I feel like we haven't been on the same page about certain things recently. Okay. Eric, your tactfulness can sometimes be seriously annoying. As your chief advisor, I feel obliged to tell you this, Jeff. I know how important the public's perception of you is. But if you continue to antagonize the corpse, you'll be depriving this campaign of sources of potential funding and leaving us vulnerable to attacks by much more powerful actors. Don't make matters worse, Jeff. Please. It's a question of sincerity, Eric. Of staying true to one's ideals, not about pandering to the public. Besides, do you think I'm some kind of amateur? I know where the limits lie, and the corpse know it too. I know how the game is played. Set your mind at ease, good night. Fair enough, it's just that lately you've been acting a little bit unpredictable. Don't get me wrong, I know it's a position that's taken us a long way. I'm just worried you'll cross the line at some point. Remember to get a good night's sleep. You'll need a clear head. Jeff, could you explain to me why Le Leah's still here? I thought we let her go. Did something change? I don't follow. What are you talking about? Well, she's just here, like nothing happened. She sent me a new ad today that apparently you approved. Am I going crazy or something? Eric, what the hell are you on about? Who told you to fire her? Because it most definitely wasn't me. If you've got something against her, then speak up. As far as I'm concerned, Le Le Leah stays. Not like she was going anywhere to begin with. Pull yourself together, Eric. Okay, I must be imagining things. Forget I brought it up. Who is this Eric? Maybe this is someone we need to be concerned about? Vote for Prowless. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Huh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Common name is Scop. I thought rich people didn't eat Scop. Scop is basically basically artificial food. I thought that the rich were the ones who actually ate real food. <laughs> Most everybody else eats Scop, right? Oh, this is the gun thing. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Interesting. Maybe he left a trail? Honey, I really appreciate how much you want to help during your academic break, but I think it's best if you stay where you are for now. Everything here is under control. You should spend this time focusing on yourself. Take advantage of everything Europe has to offer. Love, Mom. Um... Okay, Judy Alvarez. 
Dear Ms. Alvarez, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. There is a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping that you'll return the favor Jeff once did for the mocks. Can we count on you? Oh, this is Judy. Duh. Our Judy. <laughs> Judy Alvarez is our Judy. This is her asking for help from, from us. Yeah, okay, this is how it all connects. I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what this is about? It's about a certain brain dance, I'll be honest. The matter is of a highly delicate nature, and discretion as much as professional analysis is paramount for us. Time is also of the essence, so I'm hoping for a prompt reply. It goes without saying that you'll be well compensated for your trouble. Believe me, I would if I could, but my hands are really tied at the moment. I know someone you can call, though. She's a merc, known quantity of the afterlife. Does preem tier work. Hey, thanks, girl. They call her V. I'm sure she'll be willing to help. Thank you for the referral. Here's Eric again. Little favor. Hey Liz, sorry to bother you, but did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Le Leah Patel? One day we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day when I bring it up, he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. To be honest, this whole situation baffles me a bit. Okay, so he's passing out. He's forgetting things. This is, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm getting some red flags here. Don't worry about it. Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is, what you agreed on just slipped his mind, plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In any case, certain circumstances have changed in favor of Leah, remaining where she is. Please excuse Jeff, and let's all put the matter behind us. There's something going on here. Understood. Thanks for clarifying. Weird. No, oh, that's that's weird. Department of Law at Asukaga, Berkeley. Hmm. Classy. You and Jeff graduate from the same school? Must have been expensive. A lot of politicians have law degrees. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. A charity founded by Richard Knight's widow. They helped a lot of underprivileged kids with ambitions. Iron. This Jeff's? This? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. Blue roses. You sure? Roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. What is going on with you people? Is there like some... Oh no. I'm starting to suspect like a body swap or something. People can make themselves look like other people in this world, right? Like through ripper docs and through like surgeries and stuff. Like what if somebody took their place at some point? And that's why like their memories are just like not quite there. Mm, that might be too far, but... That's something I'm throwing out there. That's something I'm throwing out there. Dude, this place, man. It's a freaking apartment. Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. Maybe only one of them has been replaced. I feel like they'd be able to tell. Like the opposite partner would be able to tell though if that were the case. But like, this was, somebody was shot here, 
and it's not the shooting that we know about, it's some other shooting, and somebody cocked this up to try and hide the bullet holes. But this isn't where that shooting that we know about took place, which means something else happened here too. And somebody's not being upfront about it. Weird shit's going on. Okay, more blood. Cleaned up blood here as well. Last used within 24 hours. Broken? It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it though. What are you looking at? Big screen. Did you know that there were no crystal blowers before the Red Square was introduced in 1980? Now that's I'm invested right now. What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kinda good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. That happened to the screen a lot, or to any of the others. I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? Didn't see it? No. What? Uh, never mind. Huh. Maybe whatever that was was what knocked out Jeff. I just broke their door, no big deal. Jesus Christ. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. What the fuck? They didn't know about this? They violated our privacy. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Oh, they've been coming in through the roof. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. What the hell is happening? Now her head is hurting? Something's going on. Oh, other side of the TV. Rewiring synaptic pathways. The future of neurotechnology. The 21st century heralded a worldwide revolution in neurotechnology. We as a society can no longer image an, an existence without technologically heightened senses, enhanced memory capacity, and pain modulators. By linking our neural systems with computer chips, we are able to learn complex skill sets in seconds. We are capable of learning, then subsequently forgetting them again the instant they are removed. Today, after nearly 80 years of increasingly incorporating these technologies into daily life, we must now ask ourselves what comes next. In recent years, the academic community has reunited discussions on possible new methods to influence brain plasticity, possible to create permanent neural pathways using co-processors. Co Can we expect a breakthrough regarding... Uh, dopaminergic data manipulation in our lifetimes? If so, what will be the consequences? The probable emergence of commercially viable artificial neurotransmitters would undoubtedly reshape the health science field, yet would simultaneously introduce a potential destructive tool to most governments and corporations fail to plasticity. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I was reading that because I thought it might be integral to what's going on here, but I'm not so sure. Scan the computer. Wow. 
Wow, your security team are assholes. It's really fucked up. Operation Condon. Typical behavior of the target exceeds acceptable variation range. Alpha has started using stimulants, most likely due to heightened stress induced by recent events. I hereby authorize amplification of neural dampening. This is why he's forgetting things. Field Agent Blue. So, uh... Who was this family friend or friend or whatever that recommended the security team to you? Because I think we have our number one suspect, and it's the person who recommended this security team. Despite objections from the chief of security, Wallace, Target Alpha has contracted the service of a local mercenary. This qualifies it as an extreme deviation from acceptable behavioral norms and calls Alpha's general stability into question. I hereby request emergency maintenance. Request to proceed with Operation Condon Target Alpha has been approved. A joint maneuver will be conducted with Team Orange. Mercenary contracted by Alpha has appeared on site. Field agents from Tier Orange have successfully avoided contact. Orange reports that the mercenary does not pose any threat to the operation. Oh, you have no idea. An extreme behavioral deviation occurred while conducting planned maintenance procedures. Field Agent Blue 66M was severely injured by Target Alpha and evacuated by Teams Orange and Black. Operation Suspension Protocol has been initiated and only Team Orange is to remain on site. Team Orange is still on site. Who is Team Orange? Team Black will continue observation until normal operations can be resumed, which will not occur before the audit and report summary from Team Blue. There might be somebody here from Team Orange. What strange computer am I supposed to scan? Because I thought it was this one. Oh, scan it like this? Use meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. This is probably the computer. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Dude, follow the cables. Am I supposed to go up? This. Prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travel Short range. Line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight. Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out. Find the transmission source. Like, is it, are we supposed to believe it's uh, in the building? Like, this is aiming down towards that building. Or maybe, I mean, anywhere in this line here. Find the transmission source. Right there. That. Got a vision on our receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. 
Oh, dude. Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. How you doing, girl? Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility. But we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, I'll keep that in mind. Girl? I'm suspecting you right now. You didn't know what color the flowers were. And I called that maybe you have been replaced. You could be a, the orange. You could be orange team. What if orange team is his wife replaced by somebody else? What the fuck? And she's just giving us this tour and just seeing what we're able to figure out. And she's like, hey, don't bother Jeff with this shit. And I'm like, what? this truck, huh? This is weird. Getting ever so close to that legendary katana. We're at 50,000 eddies. We take the wheels, V. That van could give us a slip any second. All right, if you say so. Definitely not your ordinary van. We are about to find out. Don't lose him, V. Oh, now you're interested. <laughs> we could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Shit's got him hard. Before, he didn't want us involved with the politi politician at all. Now he's like, yeah, get him. You want to know what? I was literally thinking, literally right then, you know what? We're due for a crash. It's been a while since we've had one. And right as I was thinking that, thinking, oh, I should probably save again, 
it crashed. <laughs> Thank you for being predictable, I guess. All right. Well, at any rate, we're kind of at the end of this episode. So we're going to go on that car chase in the next one. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we'll actually hunt down this uh, van and find out what the hell is going on. This is wild. I am super invested right now. So yeah, I'm excited to find out just like you are. So don't forget to uh, tune into the next one.